Hi guys, sorry I haven't done a tutorial for a while, I've been rather busy. Um, someone asked me the other day um, if I could do a tutorial on how I created this uh, simulation with N particles. Um, so I've found a spare few minutes and I'm just going to go through it. It's, um, it's, not, it's, it's not difficult, but there are a few things that aren't kind of evident, you know, just kind of by watching this video. So let's... Um, Let's get stuck in. So I'm um, just going to start by uh, getting the visor open so we can get in some mocap. And I'm going to browse to the mocap examples tab. And I'm going to middle mouse drag in the mocap. There we go. And here's our dude. He's a bit big. It's not his fault. There we go. 0 0.1. Uh, just scale it down a little bit and I'm going to increase the timeline range. Okay, so let's just bring him this way a little bit. Okay, so let's just create a floor. Very simply. And I'm going to create. I'm going to just press play and see where he. About here, I think I'm going to create a wall. And he's going to run into. Cool. Um, and then I'm going to create these into N passive objects. So get up into the N dynamics menu set, go into N mesh, and create a passive collider for that. Select this, and I'm going to hit G just to uh, uh, recreate the last thing. Right, so I'm just going to see if I can see his joints. So I'm just going to hide his joints because they're going to get in our way. So I'm just going to go into show joints and switch those off. Um, and I'm just going to change his colour first. Gonna take down the reflection, specular and ambient. And perhaps I'm going to make him blue. Okay, I seem to have lost the ability to see everything shaded. There we go. Um, so, let's get the outline open. Let's get some particles going. So, let's grab his skin. And we're going to go to end particles and we get a, a emit from the object. I'm just going to make sure that's set to surface. Uh, I'm going to leave that at zero for now because we don't actually want any particles to emit until about now and so let's just go into the uh, emitter which is now inside the skin because it's been grouped underneath it and I'm going to go back a couple of frames I'm going to set a key and I'm going to go forward a few frames and I'm going to set another key to about 10,000 and I'm going to set a key there so we should get some particles starting there okay so at the moment they're just falling down with gravity and that and I think I'm just gonna up the gravity while I'm here um, let's take it up to about 20 I just find it slightly more realistic um, so let's get the particles and I'm just gonna make sure that self collision is on. I'm going to rewind that. I'm going to create the instance object because it was all cubes that I made out of. I'm just going to leave it there in the middle of world space. I'm just going to scale it down so it's quite small. So I've got a cube. Let's select the pie course and we're just going to go to instance or replacement. So now when we press play, we're going to get a bunch of cubes coming off the guy. There we go. Um, and I'm just going to add a shader to that and I'm going to make it blue also and we're going to need to turn our initial cube blue as well because they are instanced from that, so they're going to pick up the colour from that. Obviously, 
because it is an instance we can also add any kind of animation or uh, different types of animated color etc if you want to do something a bit fancy on that instance cube okay so we've got the particles coming off let's just uh, have a look at timing okay and I think round about here I want go back a couple of frames I'll set another key and go forward a few frames and I'm going to bring that down to zero let's set another key so if we play now they'll start and around here they'll stop cool but at the moment they're just falling down and they're a little bit rubbish so um, we want to keep that velocity going that we're getting from the character and we can do that inside the attributes of the particles this is the bit that's perhaps not so obvious so if we go into the emission attributes tab inside the particle attributes um, and we've got an inherent factor here and I'm just going to start playing with it just gonna pull it up just until those particles start to follow his movements a bit which they are, that wasn't a bad guess actually yeah, <laughs> there we go straight off the bat right, so with the particles selected um, I'm also going to sort out their rotation because at the moment when they land they're just landing in a uniform way and really they should be spinning so we're going to go into uh, the rotation tab and we're going to click rotation but if you'll notice now that if I play this they're not going to rotate which is a little bit rubbish um, but there's an extra step we need to do which is to go into the actual instance um, tab here and we need to change the uh, rotation to rotation PP per particle so that there you go straight away they flipped around and then they're working out their own rotation based on each particle um, so that is that sorted so let's rewind and see what we've got yep we're getting there okay so the next step just want to wait until there's quite a few particles um, around here so let's just select the skin and we're going to go into visibility we're going to keyframe it on and go forward one frame hit zero and keyframe it off and it's going to do a little play blast actually I'm going to do another play blast just going to quit that without him selected let's go again Let's just finish that there. So that is how we create that effect. Obviously, there's all sorts of things we can do, like uh, enable some bounce. We can make it so that the particles splash up here a bit more by animating. Um, we just look at the animation of the emitter. We'll get open the uh, graph of our we can start to play around when they fall off so obviously the later that they fall off the more chance they've got of splashing on that wall a bit higher so we've got no fall off and now it's going to fall off and we'll get more of them hitting the wall which is quite nice so that's the first example 
And the next example will be, uh, let's have a look, what did we have? I'll probably just talk you through the next examples really because it's sort of self-explanatory from there. So as you can see with this one, it, um, as he hits the wall, that's when we animate his skin off and the particles on. So let's just do that one. So with the particles still selected, let's get to this point. Actually, we need to uh, go back a couple of steps until we can see that skin again. Let's work with the skin visibility first. We're going to leave that on up until about here. A bit more. So yeah, about there, because he's going to switch off now, let's go back a couple of frames actually. Okay, and let's just go to the emitter, and we're going to make sure that nothing happens to around here. Let's see what it looks like. There you go. That's that one. But maybe there's just not enough particles happening for us at that point. So we can just lift up this curve to make more particles happen in a short space of time. Yeah. That's my phone you can hear. Bosh. I just do a little play blast of that. Escape and let's have a look what we got. There you go, and then I'll just talk you through the last one. Um, sort of done that really. And really, with all of them, it's just sort of playing around with the visibility. So, this one uh, was just a case of um, saving your file, importing um, importing the file back into the same scene as the last scene, so we've got two guys, rotating the motion capture guy around um, and then just keyframing their uh, skin visibility as they hit each other. Yeah, so it's uh, pretty straightforward really and then just putting a snazzy camera around it all and a, a little, tight little bit of camera shake just to give impact and that's all it is same with that really so I hope that solved it and uh, helped anyone out cheers guys speak to you soon bye bye